So here it is. It's a uh, 1930s dictaphone dictation machine that used uh, these wax cylinders. We picked this up at an auction. Uh, a couple of more cylinders down here. These are recordings. Um, this is an Ambersol Blue, which means it was Edison. And this one is, uh, here we go, Waikiki Hawaiian Orchestra. And there's another one here. I'm not sure what this one is. Another Ambersol Blue. And this is, uh, <laughs> I'll Take You Home Again, Kathleen. Yeah, whatever. Um, so, <clears throat> it's a neat old machine. I took off these little screws over here so you can lift it up and see inside. There we go. Hold on a second. Bear with me. There we go. So, here's the inside. I got a little kickstand here. Get this out of the way. So, there was a question about whether this was an AC motor or a DC motor. And, uh, I got a little confused when I got inside of this, so let's open it all the way up. Take a look. So I'm going to flip this over. Here we go. So you see over here, there's settings and a screw, set screw. DC, 60 AC, 133 AC. And that was a little confusing. I'm going to have to do a little more research on that. It's the magnet weights on the fan. Oh, and this is really cool. It's a leather belt with a wooden rolling caster tensioner and the belt's all there it's not broken which is nice and here we go so let's close this down a little kick stand there we close it up and there's a uh, listen which drops the needle neutral and dictate um, I've not been able to get this one to come off. This is sort of stuck in place. It's the cylinder that was on there. I might have to crack it off. It's a clean metal cylinder right here, and it slides on, but it seems to be stuck. But this was kind of cool, so I started doing this. So there's nothing on this one, but it definitely wants to play. And the way it would work is you've got this uh, recorder here, this is your button to start talking into it. Hello, hello, hello. And also, you would put it up to your ear and hit the button and listen. And neutral. You can slide this carriage around. Down here is the original pad, which would be uh, from the dictator. The dictator. <laughs> the dictator. Um, so you'd record the message, and then your time, how much you would get, I guess you'd get 60 minutes on a cylinder this size, and then this would tell you how much time you had left. The person would then, uh, you know, the number of the recording, who took the dictation, the date, da 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 This would go out to the secretary, and she would type up the notes of what have you of the uh, CEO or whomever would be using this. These are very expensive. They cost... Uh, Two hundred and fifty dollars in nineteen eleven. Um, this has the rolling cart, which you don't see too often anymore, which would hold six additional cylinders. The machine itself cost two hundred and fifty dollars, and in today's equivalent, that would be about sixty five hundred. Here's the back. Um, you can see there's the uh, little twelve volt plug, I believe. I'm going to try to figure that out if it's AC or DC. I'm going to have to rig something up. And there it is. This is my 1930s wax cylinder recording dictaphone. It's all cleaned up on the inside and the outside, and I'll be listing it on Etsy a little later this week.